It's crazy that Tucker Clarkson can make a better video about the stock market short sellers and individual investors than any of the other people who their job is every day to cover the stock market. It's amazing how he actually highlighted that there isn't actual value of short selling on the stock market and the short selling actually hurts not only the economy, hurts the companies that have been shorted, hurts the employees and in the end only individual investors are trying to fight back the short selling on the market. But that kind of thing happens a lot on Wall Street. Hedge fund managers bet money that a specific stock will decline in value. That's called short selling. Short selling has no obvious value to the American economy. Short selling exists for the purpose of enriching the people who do it. Short selling hurts companies, obviously. It hurts their investors, hurts their employees. Ultimately, it hurts our country itself. Yet it continues. No one does anything about short selling. Regulators ignore it. CNBC applauds the brilliance of the people who do it. Oh, they're so clever, those hedge fund managers. In fact, NBC's business channel regularly lends its airwaves to unscrupulous short sellers who use free TV airtime, you may have seen this, to tank American companies for profit. They do that all the time. The last administration did nothing to stop this. The current administration certainly won't. The Biden White House is more tightly controlled by business interests than any administration in history. Virtually every person there is beholden to the finance establishment. What's happening on Wall Street is so clearly awful and so obviously destructive. The question is, who's going to fight back against it? As it turns out, a bunch of guys on Reddit will. It fell to them to push back against the short sellers because no one else even tried. So they did. A group of independent investors in a Reddit group called Wall Street Bets learned that hedge funds plan to short the stock of a fading retail company called GameStop. So the Reddit investors began buying shares of GameStop, and GameStop surged in value, ultimately up by more than 1,000%. The hedge funds, for all their calculation, hadn't seen that coming, and they lost billions as a result of it. One hedge fund lost so much money it needed a bailout from two other hedge funds. Meanwhile, some of the investors on Reddit got rich. But getting rich was not the whole reason they did it. They also wanted to send a message to the hedge fund managers. I mean, you heard that very, very clearly. I feel that uh, individual investor was running this uh, speech, right? It was not a host that was covering politics or economics from time to time. He was speaking very, very uh, interesting and similar things that people are talking on Ray, right? He said that some of the medias are intentionally inviting short sellers on the media, on air, asking them questions about the companies that they have invested interest with. They already shorted these companies. These people are bashing companies on air. These companies are going down. And this is how they're making money. A very, very interesting point from Tucker Clarkson. It's actually unbelievable that he's, you know, individual from the media bashing other medias. He said that people intentionally from NBC inviting short sellers, you know, to help themselves to crush some of these companies, you know, saying negative uh, statements, putting negative information, negative predictions for these companies, for these stocks. And he said that nobody actually is doing anything about it. They said that it's even worse because some of these media people on air, not only inviting short sellers, they're actually praising them and cheering them up and saying, wow, look at these short sellers. They're doing an amazing job. They're such a good investors. And Tucker Clarkson said, you know, nobody's pointing out that, okay, where is the value of short selling on the open market? Uh, there is a very slim part, who knows, 5, 6, 7% of these short sellers who are going after scammy companies, okay? These are like uh, companies that are on the investigating side. Fake revenues, fake products, fake service, fake balance sheet. But what the, all the other short sellers are doing on the market? The other 90% or 95%? Nobody's talking about this. Nobody's talking where is the added value. What is the value added tax uh, when these guys are, you know, Christian company uh, to, to zero? And probably the other good point that he made is that, you know, nobody is actually trying to fight back. Only the, the little guy, only the individual investor decided to, to take aim. And the closing line was very, very important. He said that it's not just making money and being profitable for individual investor. It's up to fixing the whole financial system, as crazy as it sounds. Uh, who's gonna win? Nobody knows. But as long as there are people, in my opinion, on the media, you know, keep covering the real angle of the story, uh, things are still on. Game is still on. 
Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Let me know. I didn't go into politics because, as you as you may have guessed, I'm not into politics. So this is why I didn't comment on what he mentioned about the politics and why and how some of the politics are actually involved in this. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, why nobody else is fighting short selling? It's a good question. Maybe you can answer to this as well. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video and come back for more. Yeah.